Hi guys, I'm Mikhail Pazderling from Prague ICU and today I will show you how to set up a temporary cardiac pacemaker in ICU. First of all, check the underlying rhythm. In our case, the patient was initially admitted for a complete AV block with profound bradycardia, 25 beats per minute. He eventually spontaneously converted to sinus rhythm, currently 85 beats per minute. Single chamber temporary pacemaker has four main knobs. Switch off and on button to VVI mode. Pacing frequency ranging from 30 to 180 per minute. Sensing button in millivolts. And pacing button in volts. Let's check the sensitivity threshold first. We can appreciate that the sensing indicator light is blinking. Decrease the rate to one which is lower than the patient's native rate. Change the output to whatever the minimum setting is. You would not want to get an R on T phenomenon. Capture is not required for this test. Observe the sense indicator. Keep decreasing the sensitivity. It means increasing the millivolts value. Eventually the sensitivity will be so poor that any of the endogenous electrical activity of the myocardium will no longer be sensed by the pacemaker. At this stage the pacemaker, blind to all electrical activity, will assume the patient is in asystole and will start to pace in a totally asynchronous fashion. Now you can see that the sense indicator is not blinking anymore. In contrast, the pace indicator starts blinking. This minimal sensitivity value is the sensitivity threshold. In our case, it is 10 millivolts. Most of the time, you tend to leave the sensitivity turned down to at least half of the sensitivity threshold to ensure that the cardiac electrical activity will be sensed. If you turn the sensitivity value down any more than that, you risk oversensing. We usually keep the sensing in the ventricles at 2 millivolts. Now we proceed to capture threshold testing. Capture threshold is the minimum current setting required to produce a depolarization of the pace chamber. Set the pacemaker well above the native rate so that the ventricle is being paced continuously. In our case, 100 beats per minute. Start increasing the output until you observe paced QRS complexes on the screen. See the arrow pointing at paced QRS complexes. The minimum output at which there is still consistent capture is the capture threshold. In our case it is 2 volts. Typically one might want to set the output to at least double the capture threshold. In our patient, we leave the pacing just in a back mode 50 beats per minute, with the output three times higher than the capture threshold, 6 volts. Thank you for watching Prague ICU and stay tuned for next interesting educational videos.